Mac guys. Today we'll be talking about Salt State's top file. Um, the top file is basically an aggregate of of all the other states that we could write. So for example, if we have like a group of uh, application hosts, web hosts, database hosts, and we have like a list of states that needs to go through each of them, we can write it all in this um, one top file and just execute that file. It will go ahead and find out um, what to, uh, which, sorry, which server uh, goes with which states, so, or sorry, the other way, which states goes with which server and so on, and, and basically run them all for you. And this is either a, it can be depending on your state, it could take forever to, to uh, complete all the states, or it could be very quick depending on how, uh, how quickly your states complete. Um, so the top file can be, they're ordered in the list that you, that you write them in. So if you say you're going to do Apache first and then Nginx or Nginx and Nginx Apache, it will go ahead and execute it in that order, unless you specify the salt master configuration to be executing them lexicographically, which is in A to Z. It also syncs the pillars, grains, and states. Uh, if you don't know what they are, take a look at my uh, pillars, grains, and salt util videos. And that will go ahead and explain what they do. But it basically go ahead and syncs them all with all the minions before it runs the salt states. Now, in the earlier parts of the video, we, we, we defined a environment called base. Now you can define other environments like QA, prod, dev, and so on and so on, right? And each of those environments can have its own top file. So you can have multiple top files. So let's say you have base requirement states that needs to run on every or you know a few of the machines. And then you have QA, which only run the QA states or which or dev and so on and so on. We can go ahead and create multiple top files. And then when we execute them, we can go ahead and execute either just the specific environment ones or all of them together. And I'm a fan of the uh, monolithic paradigm, if you want to say. So everything should always work all together or it needs to be fixed immediately and then work all together. So what we're going to do now is that we're going to go ahead and log into our um, our salt master and create another environment with a blank top file and show you how a high state works. Uh, before we get started, I'm going to go ahead and change my repository once again uh, so that it's easier to manage multiple repositories. Rather than calling it just base where it's just one environment, we want to be able to manage all of the environments from the central repository. So what I'm going to do now is I already went ahead and um, I renamed my states file into salt states. So, and then in the, um, in the base directory, I made sure I got rid of, if you're following on, I made sure I got rid of my dot git directory here. So all you have to do is make sure you get rid of all of your dot git directories, which I'm about to do right now. Now that we're gonna go ahead and create a brand new repository, wherever I'm gonna make mine in GitHub. So I'm gonna name mine salt states, create the repository, and we're gonna have um, all of this. Let me go ahead and get rid of the readme file as well. So this is accurate. So we also wanna go ahead and echo um, oops, what this is in the readme. So I'm going to put all salt environments here in second case or second header, all salt environments. All right. So we can go ahead and init and then run the rest of this. Now we do have to do one more step even after all this, actually two more steps if you push the master already, is that the existing files need to be added as well. So if you do a git status, um, you'll see the base folder and then if you go to base and then you do a git status here, it says that everything here needs to be added. So we're just going to do a git add dot 
Now, if you do a git status, it'll show everything that is in the base folder that's gonna go ahead. And then we'll do a git commit hyphen m add existing states and then git push origin master. And once you do that, uh, your salt states or whichever one you uh, created, what it will go ahead and have all of the existing ones there. Now that's not the only thing we need to do. Uh, the other things we need, and by the way, our changes for the uh, readme is here. Now, the other thing we need to do is we need to go into our master and then we need to, because when we clone this directory, we get the folder salt states. So what we need to do is we need to change the configuration on the master to say salt states as the parent directory of the environment. So if I do vi, oops, vi slash etc, I will need sudo for this, slash etc slash salt slash master dot d and roots that conf is what I'm looking for. Now we need to change this salt here to salt states, like how we have in our repository. Once you do that, you can go to slash where that um, where the environment lived, which is in slash SRV. So slash SRV RM salt, and then just go ahead and clone this and we should be good to go from there. Git clone repository. You'll need sudo if you're here. And now that that's done, you should see salt states and that matches with what we have in our configuration. So we can go ahead and just, uh, just keep pulling from the latest one and then not have to worry about moving files in and out and so on. So we're going to go ahead and create a new one. So there's going to be more than the states so just, just to uh, play with this top file a little bit. We're going to go ahead and create dev just for the sake of it. So again, sudo vi roots.conf slash etc slash salt slash roots.conf, sorry, for those of you who missed that. And we will do dev slash s3 salt state slash QA. Now, what we'll do is that we'll have in our parent uh, local laptop, we'll add the QA folder. <laughs> and then from the QA folder, we'll go ahead and add the top file on that particular directory and then add a few states from there and then see how the top file conjoins. So I made a slight error. I, I specified that I'd be making a dev folder or a dev environment instead of a QA. So we're just going to go ahead and do both. Um, I've got my salt state folder locally in my laptop back up. There's the base directory. So I'm going to go ahead and make directory QA and dev. And on my salt master, we'll go ahead and add that onto the roots.conf. I believe I've already added QA and I've actually named it dev QA. Don't do that, by the way. Um, name it accordingly. So this is supposed to be dev and then QA. Oh, by the way, if you don't know, these are supposed to be spaces. Salt will complain if you have tabs. So we have salt state slash QA. All right, so let's go ahead and save that. All right, so now we've got, oops, let's go here and then we'll go to dev. Uh, we'll go ahead and touch top.sls and then We'll touch stop.sls here as well. All right, so we haven't made a state for it just yet. We'll, we'll add a state for for the dev file, or I'm sorry, on the dev environment. And we'll see how it conjoins in the next video because this one's going to be a little long. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and pause here, but let's go ahead and add this and, and push this into our repository. So commit. Um, add dev and QA environment. 
kind of question to you, origin master. There we go. And now we should see it here if we refresh the page. Uh, there's dev. I wonder if I add QA to the direct. Ah, oh, I didn't. Oops, my bad. Git commit, add dev. Since I didn't push from the um, parent directory, it didn't push everything. So we want to be careful of that because everything wasn't added. Anyway, so I've got dev and QA. They both have their respective top.sls files. Uh, in the next continued video, what we're, we're going to do is uh, we're going to go ahead and add a state for the um, for the dev environment and we'll see how that mixes with the states we already have in the in the uh, in the base environment. All right. So thank you for watching this video. Um, please go ahead and subscribe or at least leave a comment whether my videos are good or could be better or how you think it would be better. Um, I do go ahead, like I am in a full-time job throughout the week, so I try to push these out, push these videos out as much as I can. I'm not a full-time YouTuber. I don't really have any aspi aspirations to be. Um, what I'm trying to do is just basically get this out there so I can help my fellow man as I've been helped uh, previously in a lot of states. And eventually, uh, I do want to be a teacher when I'm in my old age, teaching this sort of thing. So. Please do leave me reviews. Um, anything, any sort of insight would, is definitely a help. So I'll go ahead and see you guys in the next video uh, where we continue this and see how the two environment top files uh, mix together when pushing a massive amount of, or at least a bigger amount of states uh, and so on. All right.